I'm not sure what hard drive solution that you use for storing your photo or video stuff, but one thing that's worked really well for me are these MyBook Duo RAID hard drives from Western Digital. Now these are the more desktop friendly models where you plug them into power. They do make portable versions that are actually rated with two drives inside. That's really nice, but specifically I'm gonna be talking about these because you can max these out, I think now up to 16 terabytes. This is a four terabyte version. So this is a personal one for kind of my home, these, uh, these videos for my YouTube channel. But what's really great about these, and I'm sure you might be familiar with it, but a RAID setup essentially just mirrors data from one hard drive to the next in one enclosure. So anytime you copy files or information to the hard drive, it's actually backed up in two separate places. That's really nice in case a hard drive fails, which inevitably is bound to happen at some point in your life. And that is really frustrating because it can be very expensive to get that data back anywhere from like 500 to a thousand dollars to recover a hard drive. And that's if it's recoverable, you have to pay it no matter what, and you may or may not get your footage or files back. So it's really important to have backup systems in place. And one of the most affordable ways to do this now because hard drives are so cheap, is to get an enclosure like this one. You don't have to get this specific one, it's just the brand that I've had the most success with, and it's pretty simple and straightforward. There's not a lot of bells and whistles in terms of advanced professional features, but I kinda like the simplicity. Two hard drives in a RAID set, so that what happens to one happens to the other, and then if one of those hard drives ever goes bad, you can always swap it out for a different one and recover the files from the backup hard drive inside. I really like it because it's one, one enclosure, just need one power strip. And like I said, they do have mobile versions. Western Digital does has mobile ones similar to the Lassie uh, portable drives like these ones over here. Uh, they're always in the background, but these drives, you know, they're, you don't need to plug them in or anything. Uh, Western Digital has RAID drives that are like this that are actually really nice, but they are a little bit smaller in terms of total capacity size. So you're looking at like two terabytes. I don't think they have a four terabyte one, but they might at this point. Hard drive technology just keeps getting better and better and bigger and bigger. And I've had really good success with these Western Digital ones. We have about four or five of them at work right now, pretty much all maxed out with some other backup drives. And that's Ultimately, the most important thing is to back up your work because the last thing you want to happen, a fire, a flood, someone breaks in and steals something, someone spills coffee, there's always things that can go wrong and you want to prepare for the worst. You hope for the best, but you prepare for the worst. And at a certain point, everyone has to make the decision of how much they want to invest in their backup plans. With something like this, it's relatively affordable, but even this isn't foolproof. You know, if this whole enclosure was stolen, there still would be no data left. So really what you should be doing is backing up to a RAID system like this, but then having another RAID system somewhere else at a separate location, just in case. It sounds crazy, but the more valuable the footage is, the more important it is that you do stuff like that, because a lot of times this stuff is priceless and can't be replaced. It's, you know, a lot of video shoots or photo shoots, they're kind of one and done and that's it. And if that stuff gets lost, you're out of luck. You probably also want to look at some kind of cloud solution, whether it's Dropbox, Google Drive. I know Amazon has some offerings now where you can back up stuff to the cloud. And that's really good for final uh, project files. So maybe your final JPEGs, if you're doing photo or the final exports for video, it's kind of difficult to back up the raw footage still in this day and age, just because the systems aren't really in place for a large, large sets of data backup in the cloud. I mean, when you're talking about 12 terabytes backed up in the cloud, yeah, you can do it, but it might not be the most readily available. And even then it might also be fairly expensive. So we're getting there. I assume one day we will be there. And I know Amazon right now, I think has the best solution for that, but it still isn't perfect. And that's ideal, you know, if it's in the cloud, then hopefully it's protected for good. But even then, you never know what's going to happen. Some company gets hacked, they lose files for whatever reason. They should have these systems in place to make sure that doesn't happen because you're paying them to store your data with them. But that's a conversation for another video. But in any case, if you're just running off of just standard hard drives, it's probably a good idea to look at a rated system just because 
you it's better safe uh, than sorry in these situations, especially when you're dealing with stuff that is, you know, if it's your professional client work, you definitely want to make sure it's backed up. If it's your own personal stuff and you don't really care if it gets lost, then you probably don't need to invest the money. But for the professional stuff, the expense is rather minimal. I mean, even for a 16 terabyte drive, I think right now goes for like $600. Um, Now, if you raid that, you have eight terabytes on both drives. So your max capacity is eight terabytes, not 16. So that's really important to keep in mind that you're the drive inside, you need two of the same drive and that will be the size of that drive will be your total capacity. So in the 16 terabyte version, there are two eight terabyte drives. And when you rate it in a raid one configuration, you get uh, eight terabytes of total space, but then you know you're backed up. Now you can do other things like RAID zero, there's RAID five, there's RAID 10, there's all sorts of different RAID systems. I really like the simple and straightforward. What's on this drive is also on this drive. It's not the most optimized for space. I understand that, but in terms of simplicity and ease of use, it makes a lot of sense for me. But Look into it for yourself. Find out what makes the most sense for you. If you're not backing up your stuff, you definitely should. So look at something like this or other offerings out there. Just go on Amazon. There's a bunch of different companies that make devices like this. And I believe this is a USB 3, which is plenty fast for GH4 4K footage. But you might also need something a little bit faster depending on the files that you're working with. If you're video, you definitely need to make sure that is taken into account for photos it might not be as much of an issue, but no matter what, make sure your stuff is backed up.